What's good? It's your boy Tab Money, and as you can see on the screen, man, this is something that's gonna be it's gonna be deep, y'all. It's going this video is gonna be deep. I don't know how I'm gonna title this, but you know, the reason why I'm doing this, you know, as you can see, I'm finna go through the lyrics of the Rihanna's Umbrella song. And the reason why I'm doing this because this is all this talk about Kanye West, right? Or how he's against the agenda and all these stuff and how he's reaching for Yahweh and stuff, which I don't have no problem with. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? People are meant to be with Yahweh. Like I said, I think Kanye West, from the beginning, he was meant for Yahweh, but he was just so caught up with his dreams and being obsessed with the world, and it came with a price. I mean, I'm not going to do the, I'm not gonna go through the conspiracies of what I mean by that price, but, you know, for him to mess with Kim Kardashian, she didn't have kids by her, and, you know, and he supposed to be of Yahweh and trying to be religious and stuff. I mean, when it really come down to it, though, it's a damn shame that Kanye West made it to the game, but at the same time, it was it couldn't have been best for him if he would have just lived for his mom and do something else. You know what I'm saying? But I know I know it's not, this is not about Kanye West, but this is a this is gonna be an example or maybe a definition of what I'm finna say in this video. <laughs> because if you if you're new to this channel, well, I know you is because of my gameplays, but also I'm very spiritual. Basically, I'm a new ager. But I'm not going to go into other details. I am hoodoo, too. I am hoodoo as well. I'm going to say I'm hoodoo in the New Ager. But, you know, if you know, I say if you see my other video, my past videos, you see half of my past videos, especially videos I talk about Rihanna. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to the song Umbrella, and this might shock my loose subscribers, but those who've been with me already know what I'm about to say. But basically, the song Umbrella... By Rihanna was dedicated to me by Lucifer, and it all happened, and all got to do what happened to me back in 2010, which is 12 years ago. And because of 2010, that's why I haven't had a girlfriend, I haven't had friends because you know my 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 energy body started getting sensitive, and when it comes to those, I know that's not right. Basically, when it comes to new age or psychic abilities or anything, even with the pineal gland, when it comes to the spirits. Also, Lucifer plays a part in that, too. I ain't going to lie. Lucifer plays a part in the metaverse, and he plays a part in the New Age movement. When it comes to the four main societies, which is the New Age movement, transhuman movement, the extraterrestrial movement, and secret societies, I represent the four main, four main societies since I was chosen for a reason. But, you know, let's get through the lyrics and explain these lyrics. But I'm going to explain the definition of what these lyrics mean to me. But we definitely don't go do Jay Z lyrics. So let's read this. And also, I'm not going to stumble because these these lyrics are very understand. I know the lyrics already, so let's read them. No, and this is what Jay Z said. No clouds in my stones. Let it rain. Hydroponic planes in the bank coming down like at Dow Jones. Now he's talking about the stock market. Now we all know about Dow Jones that represent the stock market. And sometimes stock market goes up and down. Uh, looking at the pandemic and how it hit affect the world is just is you know what I'm saying started looking stumbling, but you know that's one thing coming down like out down when the clouds come we gone we rock our fellow we fly higher than weather and G fives are better you know may anticipation for prices and taking steps for a rainy day well you know it's lyric I'm not trying to because when it comes to Jay Z lyrics see reason why I'm not reading it fully because. Do the do the website I saw it told me don't pay attention to Jay Z lyrics, but I'm gonna explain what Jay. I mean, you, people know what Jay Z said in the song, but basically Jay Z is talking about the elites, talking about him being with the elites. You know what I'm saying? So you know what I'm saying, being being expensive planes, expensive cars, you know, expensive things. So basically around this time, I had a bag full of change, a bag full of change because I was stealing money from my mom because I didn't have a job and I was still walking on the streets. I was, you know, I'm still walking on the streets. I'm still on foot. I still don't have a car because when it comes down to the friends I made in the past, you know, they, they didn't have a car either. You know what I'm saying? Most of them depend on females and shit. And because of the friends I had, you know, depending on females and being obsessed with females caused me to really... You know what I'm saying? Not depend on females, but I'm going to explain more of my, one of my gameplays. I'm going to post it tomorrow, but I might record it tonight. But, you know, when I'm done with this video, it's definitely going on YouTube. But, 
You know, but you know what I'm saying. But basically, what I'm trying to say though is, is that when it really come down to it, though, what I'm basically trying to say in this video, when it really come down to it, is that when it comes to Jay Z lyrics in the song, he's basically saying that when it comes to the people that's that's one percent, people that's in the higher state, uh, higher uh, steps. You know what I'm saying? They're all about, they, they really care about themselves. I mean, I'm going to be honest. I mean, I understand how Trump was for the people and stuff, but Trump would never become president if he wasn't down there, so, you know what I'm saying, paying homage to the hires up. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm just being honest. You know what I'm saying? I'm just definitely being honest. And, you know, when it really come down to it, you know what I'm saying? I support the agendas. I'm not against the agendas. Like I said, this is not a conspiracy. This is something that I got to do with my life that happened to me back in 2010. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, y'all. But when it comes to Jay-Z lyrics, you know what I'm saying? Like the, like the website told me, you know what I'm saying? Don't pay attention to what Jay-Z is saying. Pay attention to what Rihanna is saying. And now we finna get into Rihanna lyrics. And this first lyric, this first lyrics, this first verse she said is deep rooted into me. And I'm going to go into full detail of definitely what she said. And, and you know what I'm saying? There's many other songs. I'm going to do a series off of this going through Rihanna lyrics, but let me read this. You have my heart and we will never be worlds apart. Maybe in magazines, but you'll still be my star. Baby, because in the dark, you can't see shining cars, and that's when you need me there. With you, I always share. Now, you cannot tell me that lyric. Now, when it comes to when she said you have my heart and we never be worlds apart, that is Lucifer speaking to me in that part. Lucifer is speaking directly to me because what happened to me back in 2010, see, why I couldn't eat and I couldn't sleep, yes, I had a hard time dealing with my body, and this is around this is around this time. This is around this time. And I, this is a trip that I'm recording this around this time because we near November and December when this thing popped off. But what happened was my mom gave me a, a split pill, a broken pill, and I took half of it. And when I took that, Here's a funny thing. This is, a, this is around the time when Haiti had a hurt earthquake. And, and I went on my laptop and look, went on YouTube and looked up upon Haiti. And when I was looking at Haiti, out of nowhere, I started feeling drowsy. And I started getting dizzy until, you know, I started getting sleepy. So what happened next was, what happened was, is that um, I was so sleepy. I turned my laptop off and I went to my room and I lay down. Now, even though I went and laid down, there was a white candle lit in my room. You know what I'm saying? Whole nine yards. But at the same time, I went in my bed and I laid down. As I was laying, and also I had a broken bed and it wasn't good. But, you know, I was laying down in the bed and I was so sleepy and I just went to sleep. Now, I didn't have a dream. I couldn't dream at this point. I didn't know what was going on. So I didn't dream at this point. But as soon as I opened my eyes, my mom was standing right there and she was saying a prayer and she scared the crap out of me. And I'm like, what the hell are you doing? She walked away and said, thank you to the white candle. And I found that kind of weird. But, you know, I went back to sleep. And as I went back to sleep, out of nowhere, something happened. Like, I actually projected out of my body. And as I was reaching up to the ceiling, my heart started beating real fast and real loud. Now, I said this before. And let me tell you this. I never switch up my story. This is the same exact story that I'm always going to say. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not Young Pharaoh. Young Pharaoh will be lying when he say he got abducted by aliens. The aliens don't want to deal with his ass. He up here took, uh, took some crazy drugs, and now he ain't himself no more. But let me tell you this. I never got adopted by aliens, but I got in contact with them. Because when I asked her about that out of my body and reached to the ceiling, I heard aliens talking, and it sounded like the voice of gray aliens. It sounded exactly like the voice of gray aliens. And as I reached up, my heart was the loudest, and it was being real fast. And when it was being real loud, that's when the aliens started screaming from the top of their lungs, yelling from the top of their, or just screaming. Then my spirit went back to my physical body. And as I wake up, out of nowhere, my saw, my sister walked into the room. She asked me, are you okay? And I'm like, what? But at the same time, I kind of knew what was going on at this point. But, you know, basically, Lucifer gave me his heart. That's what I'm basically trying to say. When I got, you know what I'm saying? Because when it comes to aliens transhumanism, secret societies, and new age movement, Lucifer plays a part in that, and I admit that. I admit that Lucifer plays a part in that. But at the same time, since I know that, you know what I'm saying, that's why he gave me his heart spiritually. Now, when it comes to that magazine part, I have hip-hop magazines, 
And I'm not going to lie to y'all. That shit was talking back to me. The magazines, I don't know how, I don't know how it happened. I think spirits came into my body and had me see things I, you know what I'm saying, I saw it differently. But magazines was was down there talking directly. To, I don't know how, it, I don't, I'm not making this up, y'all. I swear to God on the Bible. Magazines was talking directly to me, man, when I was reading them. That's why I don't got none of my hip-hop magazines no more. I threw them away because of what happened. Because it was talking directly towards me. And when she comes to the part when she said, you'll still be my star, basically, believe it or not, I remember my mom, like I remember I said in my gameplay videos, my mom used to go see the psychic lady named Madeline. And as, as she always go and see her, you know what I'm saying, she was a good psychic reader. But she told my mom, there's going to be someone in your family that you would that, that, you, that you won't even know that would become famous and become a star. It will be the main. It will be the main child that you would think would never become a star. And what Madeline was trying to tell my mom, my mom didn't get it at first, but later on through the years, she realized she was talking about me. Madeline was talking about me because I'm the black sheep of my family. I'm not really that popular, but she let my mom know that I was gonna be famous. You know what I'm saying? But even though I'm not famous right now, but you know, like I said, once I put my music on YouTube, just watch how they're going to come for me. Then when she said, baby, because in the dark, you can't see shining cars. Like I said, I'm not driving. I don't got a license. I don't got no license. I'm still on foot. I don't take transportation. So usually I walk to the store and walk back home. And I'm usually in within my in my neighborhood, you know, within my area, my region of my neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? That's when you need me there with you. I always share. So in that part, Lucifer has let me know, even though you ain't got no car right now, even though you're not driving right now, what's not coming into your life, you know what I'm saying? I will share you. I will share you with all my all my uh physical um, all my things of this world and stuff like that. So that's one thing Lucifer was trying to say in that Pacific lyrics. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I don't drive, I don't have shiny cars. I don't have a car at all. So that's one thing. And let's get to the, I'm going to read a hook one one time and that's it. But when she said, when the sun shine, this is all Lucifer saying, saying this to me. Now, when it comes to Rihanna, Rihanna didn't write the song and she didn't make the beat. The thing about it is, it was someone, I think the Dream wrote the song and I think someone made a beat. I don't know, I forgot what, but I know the Dream made, wrote the song. But when she said, when the sun shine, we'll shine together. Told you I'll be here forever. Said I'll always be your friend. Took an oath. I'm going to stick it out to the end. Now, when she, now, now I'm going to go to the deep end what Lucifer means about it when he said he took an oath. What Lucifer means by taking an oath, he trying to say is, is that he took an oath with Yahweh. Because I'm telling you, Lucifer plays a part in, in, in with, of me being born in this world. I'm telling you, if my dad, mom, you got to say my father's mother, she's from Barbados and she's Bayesian. She never smoke and then she never drink. But out of nowhere, she ended up having lung cancer or kidney failure. My mom was telling me kidney failure and my dad, you know, when he was alive, he told me she died from lung cancer. But she never smoked and she never drank. But out of nowhere, she had lung cancer. I'm going to say lung cancer. That's what my dad told me. My mom trying to tell me in kidney failure because my dad died from kidney failure, so I can't believe what my mom says. But my my grandma, my dad's mother died from uh died from throat uh, uh throat cancer. I mean uh yeah throat cancer. Uh, did I say liver cancer? I said I meant, I meant to say throat cancer. You know what I'm saying? That's what my dad said. She died from throat cancer. And why I'm bringing that up? Well, believe it or not, you know I'm in California. I'm in the Bay Area. The thing was, my dad was living in New York, and if his mother never died from cancer or any illness that she have, my dad would still be living in New York, and me and me and my sister, definitely me, I would never have been born if his mother never died, because when his mother died, his dad didn't want to take him in, so he moved with his uncle and his Filipino auntie in San Francisco, and he started working at a bank, and that's where he met my mom, and the rest is history, and that's how I came onto this earth. You know what I'm saying? But the thing about it is when I was in my mom's stomach when it was labor time, I didn't want to come out I didn't want to come out of my mom's stomach. And what happened was I stretched her stomach out and when I stretched her stomach out, she can't lose that fat. 
That's why my mom always got to treat me like shit or always have an attitude problem or basically why she always toxic. Because when she had my sister, she was okay. But when she had me, once I stretched her stomach out and then did a C-section on her and gave her pills and stuff to deal with the anxiety that her, you know, her stomach is not normal no more. Like my mom, she needed to get surgery, but now she having second thoughts getting surgery on her stomach because, you know, she got injured, you know, she got in a car accident, but also she got diabetes. But I stretched my mom's stomach out because I never want to come out. But now I realize why. If you read this part when when Brianna said you I took an oath, I'm gonna stick it out to the end. Lucifer made a deal with Yahweh over me. I'm not making this up. It, I remember reading the Bible one time, and it was talking about how people and how the devil was sitting with Jesus. I'm telling you, these things was the books, magazines, all this, even the Jehovah Witnesses book. All of it was talking directly towards me, y'all. And when I was reading this Bible scripture, it was talking about um, Jesus sitting at the table with Lucifer, man. Making making a cheer, you know what I'm saying? But what I'm trying to say is I have no choice to be loyal to Lucifer because of that. And because of this umbrella song, is it's, un it's understandable. Now that it will rain more than ever, know that we'll still have each other. You can stand under my umbrella. And when she, when when he said we get to when Lucifer, you know, still have each other. But when it comes to the umbrella, when she said you can stay under my umbrella, I'm under Lucifer's protection, Arisha protection. I'm, I'm under many spirits of protection, but me being so spiritual and so caught up in my pioneer land, I just know how to survive in the streets and wherever I go. You feel what I'm saying? Because the Arishas and Lucifer, the spirit. I mean, the, in general, the spirits know that I have no choice but to do what I got to do in order to feed my habit and my hunger. So that's one thing. Okay, let's get to this part. These fancy things will never come in between. You're part of my entity here for infinity. Now, when it comes to that part, Lucifer is trying to tell me that I'm part of his entity and I'm going to be part of his entity until I'm in into afterlife with him. I mean, that's what he's basically is saying in this, in this part of this lyric. You know what I'm saying? I'm part of Lucifer's entity and I'm part of it forever. When he say infinity, that's, and that's beyond, it's beyond, beyond his life, beyond my passing. So I don't know what's going to happen to me in the afterlife. I mean, if these lyrics are true, that means I'm stuck with Lucifer forever and starting, you know, started from the beginning all the way to the end. So, I'm part of Lucifer entity. That means I'm part of his agendas. I'm part of his movement. Everything that Lucifer got going on, I support of. Why I talk about the metaverse? Because Lucifer plays a part in it. Why I'm part of the New Age movement? Because Lucifer plays a part in it. But when it comes to extraterrestrials and the secret societies, I don't have no knowledge of that. Because first, I'm not part of no secret society. And second, you know what I'm saying? I haven't seen no extraterrestrials, even though I came in contact with them. I never saw their face. All I did, all I heard was their voices. So, you know, when it comes to the extraterrestrials, you know what I'm saying? I just only heard their voices. I never saw them. I never saw them at all. You know what I'm saying? Whole nine yards. But let's continue with the lyrics. So when when she, when Lucifer, is, when Rihanna says, you part of my entity here for infinity, that means I'm stuck with Lucifer for good. And I was putting you know, Lucifer plays a part in my born because if he if my if my dad yeah, and I'm gonna be honest if Lucifer didn't kill my mom, my father's mother I would never been born but I'm here for a reason like I can see why people are against but I can see why abortion is the big problem right now because don't get me wrong if my mom had an abortion I wouldn't have been fine with that but the thing about it is is that. You know, since my mom didn't, you know, then her and my dad planned to have me in order for them to get a house together and get married. You know, I was meant to, you know, they planned to have me. I'm not going to lie. They planned to have me. You know what I'm saying? My mom and dad did. And my, I, was, I was my dad's priority since I was a boy. And my dad, my mom depended on my dad to raise me. And my dad did raise me. He taught me everything. But, you know, when it comes down to it, you know, uh, even though my dad played a part in my life, when it came to the point where I understand life, that's when my dad passed on. But the reason why my mom didn't pass away, because if my mom do, that's when the struggle begins. But, you know, I got to, you know, I got to push my music out there. When the world has to, now here's this, uh, let me read this part right here. Now, this one is to have a deep meaning of, of what Rihanna say in this part, but... <clears throat> When the world has took its part, when the world has dealt its cards, if the hand is hard, together will mend your heart. 
in this part, basically we we are we near the end days. We near the end days, I guess. According to the Truth Movement on YouTube, we are near the end of days. But in this part, what Rihanna is saying in this part, basically what Lucifer is telling me in this part, when this world come to it come you know took its part in the world dealt its cause. When this world come to a great reset, put it like that to a great. Once this world come to a great reset, it's gonna come to a point where. You know what I'm saying? I don't know about the... I, don't, I can't... I, I'm, it might be some Marvel or DC shit when it comes to the, the hand being hard. But when it comes to men, your heart, that could be love and affection, but also lust too. So the thing is, I don't know. It could be a... Yeah, definitely a female, but it's, I don't think it's Rihanna. It could be someone that's uh, not of this world. She could be... I ain't gonna lie. She could be an extraterrestrial. I remember I was in landscaping and my dudes in my landscaping crew talking about you know you know t you gonna have an alien girlfriend i'm like what <laughs> and that was a shocking that he told me that he just said that out the blue and he was I, he was i was the first person he told me that you know what i'm saying but what happened is when the, when it comes to the men your hard part it's basically gonna be a female that's not it's not of this world it could be my fallen angel, it could be my fallen angel wifey but you know we gotta wait and see when it happens to that time come okay this is the hook part now let me get to this part right here <laughs> You can run into my arms. It's okay. Don't be alarmed. Come in to me. There's no distance in between our love. So I'm going to let the rain pour. I'll be all you need and more. Now, when it comes to this part, and this is the last part too, but when it comes to this part, when Brianna said you can run into my arms, it's okay. Don't be alarmed. After uh, after I had the actual rejection thing, when Lucifer gave me his heart, at, and basically, and um, you know what I'm saying, I, w I still couldn't eat and I c still couldn't sleep. And this is around December time. And when it, when it comes to winter time, you know, days are shorter and nights are longer. And dark magic and black magic are stronger in winter time. Definitely around December in the start of the long nights and stuff and the start of black magic and stuff. I mean, on Halloween too, that's the start of it. But when it comes to darker magic, you know, it's powerful during the winter time because of, of the long nights and the cold air that can get you sick and make your body feel different. I mean, I tell you, man, every December I do get sick because I know there's a spell on me, many spells on me. You know what I'm saying? But so basically in December, I was watching BET, you know what I'm saying? And even though I was watching BET, it was making me paranoid because they were talking to me through the TV. But when it came to the late night shows with the, with the religious people, it came to the point of the guys talking about the no evil oil. And when it came to the guys to the no evil oil, you know what I said? I had a weak ass TV. And I still got a weak ass TV, but the one I had was nothing like the TV I have now. But the guy with the no evil oil, I don't know how he did it, but he was talking directly towards me, telling me there was a spirit, a witchcraft. He called it a witchcraft spirit. He was telling me it was coming in my room. And this is around the time when I discovered that Lucifer dedicated the umbrella song to me. You know what I'm saying? In this website, it showed a picture of the bar from it and everything. But basically, this guy was saying, you know what I'm saying? There's a witchcraft spirit coming in your house. You need to get this no evil oil car right now to get this no evil oil and stuff like that. Now, it was I was paranoid, but he was talking directly towards me. You know, he was showing demonstrations how he put the oil on and stuff like that. And he was going through the scripture talking about someone is possessed by the witchcraft spirit. Well, I don't know. Now, this is, might be some Twilight stuff I'm saying to y'all, but this really happened. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to go to the full detail, but long story short, when it came to the part when the spirit came in my room, he poured it, the no evil oil in his hand. He put it up to the screen and started saying a simple prayer. But the, when, but the atmosphere in my room changes. The, you know what I'm saying? The spirit came directly into my room. The spirit came directly into my room. And when it come down to the spirit coming directly into my room, I felt his presence. And that's one thing. So when the part, when she said that you can run into my arms, it's okay. Don't be alarmed. That's Lucifer letting me know he, that he was going to come and possess me and work through me for the agendas that he wanted me to. That's why I support. That's why I'm not against the new world order or the age of Aquarius or any of these people that, you know, that, that even a truth movement talking against these people. And here's the thing, YouTube is recommending me a lot of truth movement people channels that speak nothing but the truth. And when it comes down to the reason why is because they know that Lucifer is the enemy. They know 
that I would not become of the truth movement because I'm supposed to be the YQ of Lucifer. Like I said, I'm not going to say the guy's full name, but he's well known on YouTube when it comes to cloning and stuff. And also, a uh, whole bunch, but the cloning thing he's known for, but you know, it wouldn't really come down to it though, y'all. What I'm really trying to say though is, is that Lucifer had his eyes on me since I was born. You feel what I'm saying? Look at my short videos on my channel, especially when I show the statue of Mother Oshun and Father Shango. But I'm going to the full detail. So the guy with the no, I don't know if he's still on late night BT, but the guy with the no evil oil, he was the main guy that warned me about the the, with the spirit that came in my room. It was actually Lucifer. So that's when that's the first time that Lucifer came into my room, y'all. It was actually he and I did that. And when it comes to Rihanna saying there's no distance between our love. Basically, Lucifer loves me, man. But, you know what I'm saying? I know people be like, you being deceived. You know what I'm saying? You sell your soul. You're going to hell. No, no, no. I understand that. But when it comes down to it, though, Lucifer made a deal with Yahweh over me, y'all. When it comes to the Umbrella song, it's not Rihanna. It's Lucifer that dedicate the song to me. You know what I'm saying? Lucifer dedicate the song to me. Hold on, let me see who wrote this song. They probably had the dream's real name in here, so I'm I'm not gonna just so you know what I'm saying that's one thing I wanna say. So I know this video was deep, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm, I don't know how I'm gonna title this video, but then I'm I'm gonna go through other lyrics of Rihanna and many other lyrics of other artists too. You know, this is gonna be a new series, but I wanna start off with the umbrella song because I always bring up the umbrella song was dedicated to me by Lucifer. I know I'm a, I know I'm gonna lose some subscribers for this. I know that for a fact, especially those who like my game and stuff, but, you know, if y'all want to get to know me and understand who I am as a person, I got balance. I'm not of the dark side or even the light side. I got balance. I got balance between the yin and yang of light and dark. So I'm basically normal. You can call me Scorpion. You know what I'm saying? I'm like Scorpion almost from Mortal Kombat. You know what I'm saying? I'm, not, I'm more dark, but I'm good at the same time. So the thing is, and I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not against y'all way because at the same time, like I said, I remember reading that scripture on the Bible. Yahweh gave me to Lucifer, man. And that's why I'm a big believer that Yahweh do create people for Lucifer. You feel what I'm saying? Hold on, y'all. So that's one thing I want to let y'all know. You feel what I'm saying? This umbrella song, was that. this is what binds me to Lucifer. I just went through the lyrics. What Jay-Z is saying, he's speaking about the elites. But what Rihanna is saying is what Lucifer is saying to me them lyrics i will never forget when google i'm on google but i would never forget when google show me that secret page when i type in rihanna umbrella and that's what changed my life forever back in 2010 but because of 2010 that's why i've been going through so much emotions and stuff and not have a girlfriend not have real friends i mean i did have friends but they wasn't really the real deal because we was catching buses and stuff but you know, the main thing I want to say, though, is that I'm not a bad person, y'all. I mean, I know I'm doing my gaming thing, and people subscribe to me because of my gaming thing. But y'all got to understand, though, man, I'm very spiritual. But at the same time, I'm not of, I, I'm not of the Heavenly Father. I'm not of Jesus Christ or Yahshua. I'm not of them, man. Because at the same time, I was put on this earth for a purpose. Like I said, if my dad, mother did not die from cancer or uh, kidney failure. My dad would still be in New York, and I would never have been born. What I'm trying to say is that Lucifer plays a part of me being born in this world. Now, I worship the Orishas. Lucifer don't want to be worshipped because he wants us to be gods ourselves. Especially the, all the fallen angels really want us to be like them mostly because they're the ones that brought us magic abortion. Trust me, read the book of Enoch. It will tell you everything. But, you know, what it really comes down to it, though, Lucifer plays a part in my life. He plays a part of me being born in this world. And that's why I can't let go of him. But I don't worship him. I look at him as an ally and best friend. But I still got free will. I'm still controlled by our, on my own flesh. I'm very woke. It's just that I made, you know what I'm saying, Yahweh realize that I can't become of him no more. You know what I'm saying? I understand I might have Hebrew heritage and all this other stuff. But you got to understand, this is America, man. And I got to do what's best for the American, America, Babylon, best, best for Bible, basically the mystery Babylon or the real mystery Babylon religion, or the mystery schools. I'm doing what's best for them, and that's why I'm deep into. So when it comes to the metaverse, y'all, and the new age movement, I'm always going to have a balance between the both, but definitely the spiritual and the digital. You know what I'm saying? I love the physical, and I'm always going to be of the physical since I'm in the physical. 
But my main focus is the spiritual and the digital. And that's my main mission and goal. So I hope y'all enjoy this informative video. Like I said, I have to go through the details of what, why the Umbrella song. Like, I don't listen to it that much. I only listen to it, but I might listen to it when it comes to this world taking its part. Like, I read that part, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, that's all I want to say. So I hope y'all enjoy this video. Like I said, I made it long because I just want to let y'all know about my, my, you know, about me, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, like I said, I'm not evil. Like I said, I'm not, I don't support the Santana Temple doing whatever they want to do with the fetuses of aborted babies. I mean, um, that's too radical and stuff. But at the same time, I'm more pagan mystic, but I'm also a Luciferian. So that's one thing. So this is your boy Tamman. I'm finna sign off. Be on the lookout for my gameplay videos and stay tuned. So peace.